Tell somebody, I know who I am. I know who I am. I know who I am. It's when you know who you are. No weapon that is born against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against you, judgment shall be condemned. Tell somebody, I know who I am. No matter what the world is saying about you, no matter what your loved ones are saying about you, when you know who you are, you are holy, you are righteous, you're walking in miracles, you know who you are. I want to talk to you from this topic, created and blessed to produce. Amen. Amen. Created and blessed to produce. Let's go ahead just for a moment. Lord, we thank you for allowing us to come into your house another time. You created us, Lord Jesus. You blessed us to produce. We thank you that you are in this house and we are in your presence. And we count it a privilege to be called into your house. We give the praise, we give you all the glory, all the honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's all say amen. amen. You listen to the radio and the television and you see a lot of people are saying a lot of things about other people. But I love to go to the Bible to hear what the Lord has to say about us. I want to show it from Psalms chapter 1, the third verse. The scripture that was read, Psalms 1, verse 1 to 6. Look at the third verse. This is what the Lord says about you. He said, you shall be like a tree. You are not a tree. But you shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring forth his fruit in the season. His leaf also shall not wither. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. That's what the Lord say about you. Amen. 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 You shall be just like a tree Amen. that is planted by the rivers of water. That tree that bringeth forth food in the season. That tree that a leaf don't wither. That tree that whatsoever you do, you shall prosper. That's what the Lord is saying about you today. He created you and he blessed you to produce. Look at 2 Peter chapter 1 and the third verse. If there's somebody under the sound of my voice that is allowing people to speak into your spirit, to intimidate you, and to try to stop you from producing in this life, please tune them out. Amen. 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 That's the truth. Yes. You are a godly person. Amen. And God created you and He blessed you so you can produce. Amen. Look at Second Peter chapter 1 and the third verse. According as his divine power. Yes. Not man's power, but his power. power. He had given unto us some things. All things. All things. Thank you so much. All things that pertain unto life and godliness. You want to keep that in mind. All things were given to you that pertain to your life and to your godliness through the knowledge of him that had called us to glory and virtue. Virtue is excellence. He called us to excellence. He don't call no mediocre people. That's it. He don't want you to be mediocre. And if you're in a mediocre stage right now, that's not where he wants you to be. Amen. Good God. Tell somebody, all things were given to me. Testify, all, all things were given, given to, me. to me. All things were given to me. Let's go back to creation, the book of the beginnings. In Genesis chapter 1, 
verse 26. God said, black man, is this the Yes. God said it. Let us make man in our image. Yes. After our likeness. After our likeness. God said, let them have dominion. Everybody show dominion. Dominion. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea. Over the fowl of the air, over the cattle, and over all the earth. That's what God said. And over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. God said it. God wants you and I to dominate here on this earth. Amen. 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 I say, look, no matter what the doctors are saying, saints of God, don't make any bed for sickness. That's it. I'm, I'm talking inside Amen. over here. Don't make any bed for sickness. Amen. If a devil put it on you, God will take it off. Amen. Don't make any bed for poverty. Amen. If a devil put it on you, amen, God will take it off of you. Amen. Don't make any bed for defeat. If a devil put it on you, God will take it off. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. God made man and woman. He did not make any mistake. He did exactly what he was doing. And God blessed them and God said unto them, look at it, be fruitful, multiply, and replenish the earth and subdue it. And have dominion over the fish of the sea, fowl of the air, and every living thing that creepeth upon the earth. That's what God made us to do. Amen. And God said, Behold, now look at it. I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth. And every tree, in every tree is a fruit. You want to pay attention to that. Mm -hmm. In every tree, there is a fruit in the tree. And in every fruit, there are seeds. Yes. Right, let me repeat that again. Yes. In every tree upon the earth, there are fruits in every tree. And in every fruit, there are seeds. Uh, God said, you shall be what? Like a tree. Ah. There is some seeds on the inside of you to produce some fruits. Now, to every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and to everything that creepeth upon the earth, wherein there is life, I have given every green herb for meat. And it was so. You see that, Mother Williams? God knew exactly how many animals we're going to come on this earth. And God already gave all of the animals from beginning to end enough food on this earth. Amen. And God saw everything that he made and behold it was very good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. Uh, for some of you that was told that God made a man and he was walking one lonely and Animal have a companion, and the cow have a companion, and man was lonely for days. It, it is not so. Man and woman were made on the same day, the sixth day. God said it was not good for man to be alone. He did not say man was walking on lonely and getting jealous of cows and pigs. He did not say that. Uh, they were made on the sixth day. 
And God blessed them. Amen. And God said, given them everything that pertain to life and godliness. How do that relate to you? Treats. Amen to a man. Look at Isaiah chapter 55, verse 10 and 11. Isaiah 55, verse 10 and 11. Look at what the Lord is saying. As the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth. So we true sometimes we go to a, a period of no rain. Yes. And the earth looks so dry. Very, very dry. But God already told us. He had already planted seeds in the earth. Amen. Amen. And all what a dry ground needs is some rain or some snow. Oh, somebody help me, please, God. As the rain coming down, and the snow from heaven and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh the earth bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. Now look at it. So shall my word be that God forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void. But it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing where to I set it. What God is saying to us. Every one of us can relate to rain and snow. And you know for sure that sometimes when the earth looks dry and there's a lot of rain, all of a sudden the grass started to come forth. Where did the grass come from? From the seeds that were already in the ground. Oh God, I tell you. Mm. God is saying to you, the rain and the snow that come down, his word. Mm. His word is a rain on your life. His word is a snow in your life. Every time you hear a word, God is saying, I am watering you. If you're going to a dry season, all you need is one word. The word of God is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my pathway. Faith cometh by hearing the word and by hearing the word of God. You cannot neglect hearing the word. James 1 said, Be not hearers only, but be doers of the word. If you are hearing and you are not doing, you are deceiving your own self. I'll tell somebody just a word. Just a word. Just a word. Just a word. God is saying to somebody today that it seems as if you're going to a dry period. But hold on to God's unchanging hand. Because one word is going to change your direction for the better. God created and he blessed you to produce. Look at it. My word. When God gives his word out of his mouth to you, that word will accomplish whatever the Lord say it should do. Amen. Good God Almighty. And somebody in this house and somebody watching us by media, they say that that time was you have no idea what I'm going through. I don't have any idea. But I can tell you what I've been through. How many of you have a testimony? Well, if you have a testimony, give God some praise. You have a testimony, amen, that when it seems as if that you wasn't going to come out, amen, God sent some rain in your life. When it seems as if you wasn't going to make it, God sent some rain in your life. Good God Almighty. Glory to God. Go back to Psalms chapter 1. I want to show you something. Mm -hmm. mm. Give me verse 2. 
Look what the Lord is saying for us to the simple instructions. Give me verse 1. Let's start at verse 1. Only six verses. The blessed man. How many of you are blessed today? Amen. Blessed is that man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Don't let ungodly counsel govern your life. Don't listen to folks saying to God when they want to retaliate in an ungodly manner. No, no, don't, don't listen to them. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Look at what a blessed man have pleasure in. His delight, his pleasure is in the law of the Lord. And in his law, he meditate day and night. Ask somebody, what are you meditating on? What are you meditating on? Uh, what, what, what are you meditating on? In God's law, he meditate day and night. That man shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. That man shall bring forth food in his season. I spoke with someone a few days ago and the person said, Dr. Amber, sometimes I don't even feel like praying out loud. But I'm praying on the inside. Have you ever been there? And, uh, that you can't really utter, amen, a prayer loud, amen, but deep on the inside, amen, there is a prayer. Hallelujah. You may not see the fruit of the tree, but on the inside, like some of you today, amen. You may not sing like Sister Ventura, amen, but on the inside there is a song. How many of you have a song on the inside? If you hear my songs on the inside, I could sing real good on the inside. Ah, I'm so glad the Lord look on the inside. Some of you are sitting real good on the inside, amen. But you are intimidated because of how you sound on the outside. But just keep on singing on the inside, amen. Because the Lord knows your heart. You shall bring forth food in his season. Let's talk about season. What season are you in right now? And the Lord is saying, I want you to bring forth food. Do you know saints of God? That godly folks don't have dry season. Amen. Speak that again. I'm talking so Amen. Amen. Godly folks don't have dry season. That's it. Look, look at the Bible. You shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Amen. That tree by the rivers of water don't have a dry season because water is always there. God Almighty. Isaac, you remember the child? Mm -hmm. And God told Isaac, don't go down to Egypt, but stay right there. Tell the soul right there, I am going to bless you. It is down over there, but you will be blessed. Saints of God, there's some words that people use in the world. Depression. That's not for you. No, no, no. That, 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 that is not for you. Recession and all that, that's not for you. Hallelujah. You're walking in miracles. Don't, don't listen to them. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, amen. But God delivered him out of them all. Amen. You shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. That bring it for food in his season. Your leaf shall not wither. Your business shall not go under. Your bank account will not go to zero. Are you all not ready? Uh, because you all adopt too much. Be not conformed to this world. 
but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is not good and acceptable and perfect will of God. God said, your leaves shall not wither and whatsoever you do it shall prosper. Amen. You are created and you are blessed to produce Amen. the ungodly are not so. They are not so. But they are like a shawl which will drive it away. Amen. That is not for you because you are godly. Amen. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor the sinners in the congregation of the righteous. Now look at this. Mm -hmm. For the Lord, somebody said the Lord. The Lord. The Lord knoweth the way of the righteous. But the way of the ungodly shall perish. Good God Almighty. Ever since God created Adam and Eve, God said, I'm going to plant you in the Garden of Eden. And I'm going to give you some instructions. Every tree that you see here, I want to partake of every tree except that one tree over there. Because the moment you do that, you're going to die. Adam and Eve. All right. uh, saints of God, don't listen to those folks when they say that only Eve was there. No, they were both there. They were both there right beside each other. Adam and Eve, they went and they disobeyed God. And that's what caused their demise. Saints of God, if you follow God's word, you're going to remain as a tree planted by the rivers of water. If you follow God's word, you're going to live a life as if you're living in the Garden of Eden. Good God Almighty. Give me this verse right here real quick. Look at Romans chapter, Ephesians 6 and 17. Ephesians 6 and 17. I want to tell you what to take. Because somebody's in a fight today. Somebody's in a fight. Take the helmet of salvation. I want you to have a come on. The helmet of salvation. And take what? The sword of the spirit. Which is what? This is for somebody. The fight that you're in right now. One time I was in Newark and this young man came in with a gun. He came with a gun because he said that he was about to do something evil. And the word of God came forth. And he came to the altar, put down his gun. And he said, I'm going to listen to God's word. And many, many years after, he continued to thank us. Amen. Somebody on the sound of my voice. Amen. You might, you might be thinking about going to do something evil. But God is saying to us, take the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Take the Word of God with you. There's somebody else, there's somebody else in the house here. Look at Luke chapter 11. Uh, somebody's in the house. Give me the 23rd to the 26th verse. I don't know why the Lord's leaving me this way, but this is for somebody. But saints of God in one city, you cannot live the word today and then tomorrow you choose to go and live an ungodly life and think that it's going to work for you. You got to be so consistent. When God tells you to do something, tell somebody, just do it. Jesus said, he that is not with me is against me. You cannot be against God and believe that somehow you are going to prosper. How are you against God? If God gives you instructions and you refuse to do what God tells you to do, that means you're working against God. Because with God, all things are possible. With God, your business will blossom. With God, your health will bless up. Your relationship will bless up. You will produce what is good. 
Only when you're with God. He that is not with me is against me. me. And he that gathereth not with me scattereth. Saints of God, many people get out of God's will when they go against God. They are bought their blessings when they go against God. Yes, you love God. Yes, you worship God. But God is saying, let's follow my word. Look at the next verse. Mm -hmm. Look at what the Lord is saying to somebody mm -hmm. that has been delivered from unclean spirit. Mm. I want to tell somebody I'm blessed. I'm blessed. To produce. To produce. This is a warning for somebody. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, after you have been delivered, that unclean spirit will walk through dry places seeking rest. Mm -hmm. And when he find no rest, he said, I will return unto my house whence I came out. I'm going to go right back to the same place where I used to be. And when he covet, he find it a Swept and garnished. Everything is in order. Then goeth he and taketh to him seven other spirits more wicked than himself. They enter into adventure and they dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. What God is saying to somebody today, He bless you, He created you, He bless you to produce. When he deliver you, fill that void with God's word. Amen. When God drives some unclean spirits out of your life, don't let them back into your life. Some of you, God has removed some people out of your life. Amen. So that you can produce don't open up the door to let them back into your life. God bless you. And God said you must have dominion on this earth. But you got to be very mindful of who is lurking around your house to come into your house. To get into your business. Good God Almighty. Because you have a lot of jealous spirits around. And they want you, amen, to abort what God is doing in your life. Good God Almighty. You shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring forth fruit in a season. So now I'm going to close with this. Go home and do some gardening. Pull up those weeds from around you. From around you. Those weeds that want to choke your progress. Get rid of them. Pull them up. Delete some numbers from your phone lock. That's it. That want to quench you. That want to stop you from going forward. Good God Almighty. Stop associating yourselves. With some of those thorns that is trying to choke the word out of you. The saw went forth to sow. Some fall by the wayside. And immediately the devil came and took that word out of your heart. Immediately. Some fall on stony grounds. Did not have much root. And the enemy took that word out of their spirit. Because the enemy know that if that word, amen, only get the root in them, they're going to bring forth some seeds. And they're going to produce some good things. Some fall among thorns. Thorns represent the cares of this world. How can God call you and you allow the world to dictate your actions? Good God Almighty. Some fall among thorns. 
the tears of the world and he choked the very word out of them to stop them from producing. What the Lord is saying, the enemy will offer you some good things. He offered Jesus. Bow down and worship me and I will give you all of these things. He offered Jesus. He will offer you. But you have to refuse what he's offering you. Amen. Amen. But some fell on good grounds. How many of you have good ground sings today? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And the good ground produced fruit. Hundredfold, sixtyfold. And God is going to say to some of us, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Hallelujah. Enter into the joy of the Lord. Let's bow our heads. Praise God. Hallelujah. You are created and you are blessed to produce. God has created us unto good works. God said that you shall be just like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring us forth fruit in the season. The Lord said your leaf shall not wither. Your business will not fail. To God Almighty. Your fruit will not fall to the ground before it stands. Your investment will come to full maturity. To God Almighty. Whatsoever you do will prosper. You're going to do it according to God's will. Lord, we thank you for creating us. We thank you for blessing us. You have given unto us all things that pertain to life and godliness. We thank you that you have created us unto good works. Today, God, we pray for business. Every business that's in the house today. Oh, God, we pray for abundant blessings upon every business. Hallelujah. We pray for every business owner today. Yes, Lord. That they will listen to your voice. A strange voice they will not follow. Hallelujah. They will listen to your voice, Lord Jesus, and walk according to your word. Your word is a lamp unto their feet. Amen. Your word is a light unto the pathway. Oh God, we thank you. We pray for every person that is going through a sickness and ailment in their body. In the name of Jesus. You are wounded for transgressions, God. You are bruised for iniquities. Chastisement of a peace will upon you, and with your stripes we heal. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you that we heal today from the crown of our heads to the very soles of our feet. Lord, we thank you for successful marriages, successful relationships. Yes, Lord. Fathers and mothers and children, Lord Jesus, sons and daughters. Oh God, we thank you for successful relationships. Lord, we give you all the honor, the praise, and the glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's all say amen. Amen.